guys thanks for stopping by in today's video we are going to try on all the shorts at Walmart so that you can find the perfect pair my name is Teresa I'm so glad that you're here now let's get started now I have to admit that the first pair of shorts is a little bit out of my comfort zone I do not typically gravitate toward a print like this. These are the Lee Midrise 5 inch cargo short. They are $19.98. In fact, I think every pair of shorts from Walmart that I will be sharing with you are under that $20 price point. Of course, I will link everything in the description box below as I always do, but I digress. These are rated 4.5 stars on the Walmart website. They come in sizes 6 through 22. As a point of reference, I sized up to a size 8 in these. I am usually a solid 6, but I just have a feeling that they're going to shrink and I don't want them to be skin tight. These are available in three solid colors so that if the plaid is not your thing, you do have options. In fact, I did pick up another pair that I'll show you momentarily. The inseam on these is 5 inches. And right off the bat, I want to tell you that my sweet spot for me at 59 years old for an inseam for shorts is between 5 and seven inches. That is the inseam that I feel most comfortable and confident in. Now it goes without saying that the inseam that is perfect for you is what you feel comfortable and confident in. Just as a point of reference as you're watching these try-ons, I am five foot four, so I'm on the petite side. Because we all have different body types and our different heights, I rounded up every pair of Missy shorts that I could get my hands on that they had my size in at Walmart because I wanted to show you a full range so that you can spot a pair that might be perfect for you. The fabric on these is 98% cotton and 2% spandex. They have super easy care. It's just machine wash cold inside out, tumble dry, low iron if needed. Full disclosure, I typically do not iron shorts. I will just tug at the wrinkles a little bit and hope for the best to be honest. These feature a comfort waistband that says that it moves with you. These do have functioning pockets and they also have snap closure cargo pockets that I think is a really cute detail. I don't think you could fit a cell phone in here, but there are working pockets in the back that are open without a flap, so they would actually be perfect for a cell phone. Phone. You can see that these do have elastic on the back of the waistband, but on the front, it's a flat front and it's very smoothing. I really like this configuration because just as the name implies, these were very comfortable on. The elastic part helps to cinch in the waist and then the flat front makes a nice smooth finish. These have such pretty colors in this plaid. It was why I decided to try them. There is navy, aqua, pink, and white. I really like these in theory, but I don't know if I love these on me. I would love to know what you think of these, so be sure and let me know in the comments down below. I am honestly on the fence about these. Here is the exact same short, only this time it's in a very light khaki. In fact, I would even go as far as to say that this is a light sand. I love the neutral color of this. I feel more comfortable in this, and I also feel like a lot will go with this. Now, I must say with the plaid shorts that several of the V-neck t-shirts that I shared in my previous Walmart video all match those shorts and I kept finding color combinations that went well with it but then when I went to match it up with bags that's where I struggled a little bit because I didn't want clashing patterns but I'm totally off topic I really like these in the khaki again you can see that it has the elastic on the waistband and something that I like about the khaki ones more than the plaid is that the elastic portion of this does not stand out it blends in with the rest of the fabric I'm circling back to the plaid pair for just a moment because I wanted to show you how much the waistband stands out on these. Do you think it's odd that the waistband really stands out that much? Because I like the way it looks on the front more. Let's look at the next pair. This next pair is also by Lee and although they look very similar there are a couple of distinct differences. For one thing this pair has a seven inch inseam and also this one does not have the cargo pockets on the side of the leg. I really like these a lot however. They're calling these 
is the Lee Midrise 7 inch utility short. They are $19.98. I want to talk about the Midrise point for just a second. I am short waisted personally. These fit me like a high rise, but even if you are a good bit taller than me, I don't think that these are going to be too low on your waist. I really don't. These are such a nice fit. These come in sizes 6 through 22. They are available in three solids and a stripe. And as I mentioned, the inseam is seven inches. When I was watching the footage back, I have to admit that I thought the seven inch looked the best on me. I think this is a perfect length. It's somewhere between a short short and a Bermuda short. It's what I've been looking for. The fabric is 98% cotton and 2% spandex. I feel like they have just the perfect amount of stretch. I didn't feel that they were stretching out as I had them on. And when I had these on, I stopped for lunch. So I had these on longer than the other pair. And I really felt comfortable in these. They have super easy care instructions, machine wash cold inside out. It says to tumble dry and low iron. I am not ironing shorts. These would have to be hella wrinkled before I get out of iron or a steamer, but I digress. These also have that same comfort waistband as the previous shorts, and I have to say, again, very, very comfortable. I do like the fact that the waistband blends in more with this. It's not an exact match, but at least it's the same color, right? This pair does have belt loops, and I meant to mention the first pair did as well. These have your side slit pockets at an angle. I like that positioning. I do have one criticism about this pair, and because it might be important to you I want to make sure and point it out on the back there are working pockets and they have flaps which I have no issue with but the flaps have little fussy buttons I wanted to show you what I'm talking about with this back pocket I put my full-size Samsung Galaxy S21 in here it's not the biggest phone on the market but it's pretty close and as you can see the pocket is deep enough to hold the phone but in order to keep the phone in the pocket I would have to leave the flap up I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like it would look sloppy. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you would put a phone in the pocket. Honestly, I wish that these had either a Velcro or a snap closure because these buttons just seem a little crazy to me. Hey, real quick, if you're finding this video helpful, be sure and give this video a thumbs up. That lets me know that you wanna see more videos just like this one. Let's look at the next piece. Now, not going to lie, I really debated not showing these shorts to you, but then I thought, I need to take one for the team I'm just going to show them anyway, even though I felt very uncomfortable in these, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. These are by the brand Time and True. They're calling these the Midrise Cuffed 4-inch Short. They are $13.98. They are rated 4.6 stars on the Walmart website, so that's a pretty good rating. The sizes are 2 through 22. I sized up to a size 8, as I always do in white jeans, white shorts or short shorts. These do have that four inch inseam and I wanna point out right away that this is tacked into place. So I cannot roll these down and get any more length out of these. The fabric is 98% cotton and 2% spandex. So they have just a little bit of stretch. It is easy care instructions. It does say to machine wash cold, bleach when needed, and with white shorts that's bound to come up, and then tumble dry, so I don't object to the care instructions for these. Now, you would not think that one inch difference in an inseam would make such a difference, but for me personally, it did. I feel fine in a five inch inseam, but in a four inch inseam, I am just not comfortable. I felt like I would be tugging and pulling at these. Now bear in mind, I am 59 years old and I just do not feel comfortable in shorts this short. I see other ladies my age wearing these and they can rock them. But with that said, I would love to know in the comments down below, how do you feel about a four inch inseam as opposed to a five inch inseam, because to me personally, it was a big difference. These do have working pockets. I think that the fabric is a nice weight. I did not find them to be see-through, so they have a lot of positive attributes. I just can't get past the length on me. Let's look at the next piece. This next pair is not going to be for everyone, but my inner hippie chick loves it because they are a cutoff with a raw hem, but it seems to be secured where it's not going to come unraveled. These are signature by Levi Strauss. They're calling these the Heritage Short. They do have a five inch cutoff hem. These are $19.98. They come in sizes two through 22, and they are available in two washes. I'm sharing the lighter wash with you. I like a lighter 
lighter wash in the spring and the summer. And then generally I like darker wash jeans in the fall and winter. As I mentioned, these do have a five inch inseam, which is about as short as I personally am comfortable wearing in shorts. The fabric is 87% cotton, 12% polyester and 1% spandex. They have a little bit of stretch, but I really like the feel of these on actually. These do have easy care instructions. They are machine wash cold and tumble dry. Now these are a high rise, but I didn't think that they were too high on my short waisted frame, if that makes any sense. These also have some light distressing. And then as I mentioned, they have this frayed hem. You can also see that they have some fading. That bothers some people. It doesn't bother me. This does have a classic five pocket style. All of the pockets are working. And then there's just little bits of distressing, but it's nothing crazy. There aren't any gaping holes in these whatsoever. I think these are cute, especially with a white sneaker. Something else that I like about this particular pair of shorts is that they have that well-worn, well-loved feel to them. If I didn't know that these just came from the store, if I found these in the bottom of my closet, I would think, I wonder how long I've had those. Are they 20 years old? They just have that look to them. Now, just so that you know that you're not alone if you do not like a distressed piece like this, my mother always used to see pieces like this and say, why would anybody pay good money for something that is faded and torn looking? Don't you want it to look brand new? Maybe she was right. I wonder what you think. Let me know in the comments down below. Now, just because I want to do a full comparison of inseam lengths, I'm going to pop up footage from my previous video where I shared a pair of Time and True Bermuda shorts. You can't miss that video because it's the one with the title, Why Do I Feel Frumpy? I personally do not feel comfortable in Bermuda shorts. I really want to love them because I do have hereditary cellulite on my thighs and I also have very white legs, but every time I try to wear them, I honestly feel frumpy, which is interesting because when I see other ladies wearing them, I think they look great. Now it may be related to my height, but I just can't do a Bermuda short yet. And in fact, if you're in that same camp, let me know in the comments down below. The next two pair of shorts are supposed to be the same short, but I have to say that I found some significant sizing inconsistency. So I wanted to show them together. I do love the color of the pair in front. These are by Lee. These are called the Mid-Rise Cuffed Short. They are $19.98. They are rated 4.2 stars on the Walmart website, so still a decent rating, right? These come in sizes 6 through 22, and on their website, it tells you to size up that they run small. So I know that I'm not crazy when I felt like one pair was much smaller than the other, but you would think that the two in the same size would fit the same. They do not. These have an inseam of 5 to 7 inches. I'll touch on that in just a moment. The fabric is 70% cotton, 29% polyester, and 1% spandex. They do say to machine wash cold inside out and tumble dry. I wanted to love these and I thought how perfect because my sweet spot for an inseam is between five and seven inches. So I envisioned because these are not tacked into place that I could wear them at either length. With that said, and this is just a me thing, I did not care for the silhouette of the leg shape when it was rolled down. In the color denim, these were skin tight in my true size, which is a size six. I don't have a problem sizing up. I don't get too fixated on what number is on the tag. So I did pick these up in a size eight and I did feel that they fit better. However, I didn't like how they looked when they were uncuffed, which meant that it limited them to a five inch inseam. So here is the exact same pair of shorts with the same fabric content. I picked these up in a size six and they fit me perfectly. You can see that I have it cuffed on one side and down on the other. Let me know if it's just my imagination as you watch the try-ons on and off, off to the side. I felt like when I uncuffed the leg that it tapered in slightly and gave the silhouette an odd look. Maybe I'm just being overly critical. In fact, let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this when it's not cuffed up. I really like the wash of these. These are also a classic five pocket style. And you can see that these do have a little bit of whiskering and fading. I really I wanted to love these for the versatility, but because I feel like I can only wear them cuffed, at least in my mind, I don't know how I feel about them. So be sure and let me know in the comments down below. I have a pair of shorts that I want to share with you now that are not from Walmart, 
but I feel like I would be remiss if I did not share these with you. These are from JCPenney. They are the brand Anna. I will link them in the description box below. They're calling these the seven inch chino short. They are regularly $32. I really don't like to pay that much for shorts, but at the time that I'm filming this video, these are on sale. And in fact, they come out to be less than a Walmart price, which is why I decided to add them to this video. These come in sizes two through 20 and they are available in six colors. Full disclosure, I just went online and bought the additional five colors. Why? Because every color is wearable and will make great mix and match options. As I mentioned, these do have a seven inch inseam. I found the silhouette and the length of these to be perfection for my body type and my proportions. The fabric is 98% cotton and 2% spandex. They have just a little bit of stretch. They're a little bit more dressy and structured looking, but they're very comfortable and can be worn casually as well. They are easy care, machine wash cold, inside out and tumble dry. These feature a flattering flat front with the side pockets. There are working back pockets. They are very shallow and stitched closed. And again, like a previous pair that I shared with you, you couldn't really put a cell phone in these. Even if it were not stitched shut, it is entirely too shallow to put a cell phone. Now, I suppose you could fit one in the front pocket, but then you have that big bump right here. I don't know how flattering that would be, but I did want to make you aware of that. These do have belt loops as well, so that if you wanted to do a cute little front tuck with a belt, these would look cute. The fabric of these feels so nice. I'm not surprised that the original price is $32. I really feel like the quality is there. I also love every color that these come in. I picked picked up a mango, a navy blue, a white, a black, and a sage green. I feel like because the inseam on these is so perfect for us ladies over 50, that these are going to sell out very quickly online, especially at the sale price. I feel like I paid $15 and change for these at the sale price. I feel like the quality is there. The inseam is perfection. I would love to know what you think about these, so be sure and let me know in the comments down below. Now we're going to move on to some speed rounds of some pieces that I want to mention, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on, many for obvious reasons. Because we're talking about shorts, I want to show you a couple of pair of shorts that I picked up not from Walmart. This first pair is by White House Black Market, although honestly, when I watch the footage back, I'm starting to think that these look a little bit too short. These are a four inch inseam, and I already mentioned I'm not feeling that. I haven't worn shorts really in the last two years because of the pandemic. So now that I'm just starting to be out and about, I thought I could get away with these, maybe not so much anymore. Let me know in the comments down below. Full disclosure, these are crazy expensive. I wanna say they're $70. They are extremely well made. I love the pocket detail with the zip and the little pulls. I love the color. These come in a bunch of different colors. I will link these in the description box below just in case you're curious. I also picked up a pair of democracy white jeans because as soon as I realized that the white jeans from Walmart were not going to work for me because they were too short, I looked for a longer length. These are about mid-range price-wise. I will link these below as well. It depends on if you buy them on sale or not. I have to tell you, I only shop both of these brands when they are on sale. So the original price of these is probably $60 or $70. I did not pay that. <laughs> We're also going to do a speed round of some clothing items. The last three videos that I filmed, I completely forgot to mention this Amazon find. This is a crop chambray topper. It has snap closure. It ties at the waist. It does have tab sleeves, which I know bothers some people. I'm okay with tab sleeves if when I roll it up, it stays that way. I just don't like when they unfurl and become sloppy. I've had this probably two years now. This was a viewer recommendation. I love it so much. I wear this every spring and summer, so I will link this in the description box below. You may be curious about the pink denim jacket that you see in some of the try-ons. I picked this up one or two seasons ago. This is by the brand Time and True. There is a pink denim jacket and a pink field jacket 
out this season. I also picked up this fun graphic tee in store. The selection really varies from Walmart to Walmart. I do want to point out that this is a very relaxed fit. This is a size small and I was swimming in it. But if you like that loose and breezy fit, you're going to love this one. This is another in-store purchase. This comes in several colors and patterns as well. I really like the tone on tone with the turquoise. I thought that this looked really cute with the shorts that had the same color. This one is so buttery soft. It's by the brand Time and True. This is a size small under $12. Really love this one. I really feel bad about glossing over this one, but if I don't pick up the pace, this video is going to be an hour long. I just wanted to mention this top by Sofia Vergara. It is completely reversible. You can wear it with the V in the front or the square neck, or you can wear it off shoulder. I think this is so flattering, especially with white. This one is a keeper. I will probably feature this with my whole big spiel in my next Walmart video, but I have a feeling this is going to sell out quickly, so I just wanted to mention it to you. Whenever I'm filming try-ons for you ladies, I love to do a bunch of mixing and matching with the shoes, with the accessories, with the bags, so that whatever your style is, you can put together a head-to-toe outfit. I'm going to do a very quick run-through of all of the accessories that you probably spotted throughout the try-ons. I'm going to start with these thong footbed sandals by Time & True. I love these. These are definitely a keeper. I know that a lot of you have picked them up as well. You have probably spotted these woven mules by Time and True. This is last year's version, but there is a version this year, and I will link the new version in the description box below. One of my favorite purchases so far for spring and summer has to be the Demi Wedge by Time and True. They have restocked these online. I love these so much. I wear them all of the time. I can't remember, honestly, if I even showed these in another video or not. I've had them for some time now. These are by Time & True. I love the cute little bow. These are a thong. They are super cushiony and comfortable. Even the part that goes between your toe, if you're someone that is bothered by that, I found to be very comfortable. They have a good amount of tread on the bottom as well. These come in a number of colors. They are pretty broken in size at my local Walmart, but they do have them online. I also show very often my white sneakers by Avia. I wear these all of the time. I wear them to work and I wear them for my try-ons. These come in a number of colors. There's some really pretty pastel colors. I'm honestly not sure how this has happened. I have been doing YouTube videos with fashion for probably about three years now and I am pretty sure that I have never not one time mentioned my all-time favorite sandals. These are not from Walmart, but I can tell you that you can get these on sale for around $35. I will link a couple of different places so that you can follow the sales, but these are the Clarks. I want to say they're called Cloud Steppers. I love these if I'm going to be walking around all day long. I always buy a new pair each season in a neutral color so that they will go with everything, but I have to say that Clark's makes a beautiful array of colors. There's turquoise and coral and pink and navy blue, all sorts of options. I felt like I would be remiss if I didn't talk about these because when I have on shorts, like the shorts that I just shared with you, I will often have these on if I'm going to be walking all day. I also want to share a couple of Amazon finds with you. I cannot take credit for these sandals because my good friend and fellow YouTuber Serena found these. I will link her channel in the cards above. Her channel name is Style with Serena. I saw these on her and I went right online with her link and bought these. These are a braided slide on mule with a very modest heel. They come in a bunch of colors. These have the very on trend square toe and then the braided sandal. These are available in a ton of colors. I have a tendency to buy a nude color to elongate the leg because I am only 5'4 and it makes me look just a little bit taller, at least I think. I love the solid block heel on this. They have a good amount of tread so that you're not slipping and sliding. And then they also have the same sandal with a slightly higher heel. I want to say this is about three inches. You'll notice that this is also a little bit deeper in color. This would look beautiful if you have olive or tan skin. And then there are darker colors as well. I like the height of this for a dress in particular.
Now, when I was filming the try-ons for this video that you've been watching on and off, off to the side, I was standing outside on our deck, which, fun fact, is about to be demolished and replaced. I will be doing a whole video just about that process, probably in a couple of months when it's all completed, because I want to show you the before and after all decorated and pretty. But I digress. When I was standing outside, it was 43 degrees and very windy. And I kept picking up hats because, honestly, my hair was blowing in my face. So so I might as well talk about the hats that I threw on just in case you're curious. So I did pick up these ball caps in store. This one says let's get lost. It is an embroidered ball cap. It has an adjustable strap. It fit my head beautifully. I love this olive color. I don't know if this is available online but if it is I will link it in the description box below. I also had to have this one for a couple of reasons. One I love the dark gray color and also it says bad hair day. I have a lot of those. And and especially when the wind is whipping my hair so I really like this one I also found some floppy hats that I thought were really cute in Walmart this one is a brand that honestly I had not seen at Walmart before this is called Madden New York I love the ombre color of this it has this fun braided chain detail which is very much on trend I have to use sunscreen in the summer and I also like to keep the Sun off of my face anyway so I have a collection of floppy summer hats. I want to say this one was under $20. I feel like the ball caps were maybe $10 in store. I also have a woven hat that goes with everything. This is a very neutral color. This is by the brand Time and True. Both of the woven hats from Walmart are adjustable so that you can get it to fit your head perfectly. I love this neutral natural color. I speak about this often but I love a textural earthy element in the spring and summer. I also have another floppy hat. This one I picked up at Boscov's. I realized that Boscov's is very regional. If I can find this online I will link it in the description box below. I liked the shade of the woven part on this one and then it has this really cute black bow which went with one of the outfits. These were on sale for 75% off when I bought them. I do not think I paid even $12 for this one. Now just for your reference this particular one is not adjustable. I have I would say an average size head and this fit me perfectly. I just think this is so darling. Now I'm going to move on to the bags and I have a lot to go through so I'm going to do this very quickly. This adorable adorable woven clutch bag I featured in my last Walmart video. It came with matching accessories. It was at a crazy good price. This is from Amazon. I've had this really cute woven round bag for a couple of years now. This is also from Amazon. I just love the floral print on the inside. It's a detail that just makes me happy. This is so fun for spring and summer. I have had this adorable woven beach bag from Amazon for about three years now. I really like the shape of it, the fact that it has round handles so that you can put it in the crook of your arm, but my favorite feature about it is that the entire interior is a drawstring compartment. I love that feature because everything that you put in the bag is secured. It's not just laying loose. I also shared two of the tribal tote bags by No Boundaries. I love both of these so much. I picked this one up because it has this fun pop of neon yellow on a sand colored background with navy blue. I wear a lot of navy blue in the summer so I can picture this with a navy blue tee, a pair of cute cut off shorts, maybe one of the pair that I just shared with you, and then I found some jewelry that matched this exactly. These two pieces are by the brand Scoop so there's a pair of fun braided earrings with that same pop of neon yellow and then there's also this cute bracelet. I actually picked up this fun round beach bag last season, but when I was pulling links for this video, I noticed that they still have this color online. I love how the handles have the pretty colors throughout. The yellow in this handle matched the yellow bow sandals that I showed you a moment ago. I like how it has the natural color and then the color blocking with the white and the hot pink. This fun macrame bag with the beading is from Venus. If you've never watched any of my Venus videos and are curious about the brand, I will link one of my Venus videos in the cards above. But I would have to leave the flap up. Now, I think I just gave you the middle finger. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to point with this finger. <laughs> now, now you would, now you would, oh, blah, blah, blah. Now you would not think that one inch would make such a difference in an inch. 
Now you would not think that one inch would These are by Time and True. No, they're not. <laughs> These are not by Time and True. Don't listen to me. <laughs> These are Signature by Levi Strauss. Got hair in my mouth again every day. Why did I put lipstick on? These are by Levi Strauss. They're calling these this. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Let's try that again. I would love to know what you think about these, so be sure and let me know in the comments down below. I just heard my stomach growl. That's embarrassing. I have a microphone right here, and when I get hungry, I can hear it when I'm playing this back. Hopefully, you won't hear it. Whenever I'm filming... Get that hair out of my face. And why am I yelling? Whenever... Now oh, it's in my mouth. Oh, heaven help me. So I'm curious, did you spot the pair of shorts that might be perfect for you in this video? I hope that this video saved you time in the dressing room, or if your shopping online makes it super easy for you, let me know in the comments down below if you spotted the perfect pair. If you're not already subscribed, please take just a moment and hit that red subscribe button. It really helps my channel out. Also, pop over to Instagram and follow me over there. I would love to have you as a part of that community. I'm going to pop up a couple of my previous videos here and I will see you next time.